All right, guys, we got a little bit of an update for you. We know we've been quiet on this channel, and that's because the recent NPRM comment section came to a close, and you guys did awesome. Yeah, we can't thank you guys enough, not only for the responses, which I believe ended around 56,000 uh, responses to the FAA, uh, but also what you guys did for us with the survey, and most of all, leaving your personal stories and your testimonies. I believe we had just shy of 7,000 of those, and um, it, it moves us to tears, but also it, it truly put a face on the hobby mm -hmm. and all the amazing things that people involved in the hobby and using it to impact others in a positive way has to bring that's from you guys and that's something that's gonna last forever help people describe all the benefits that, that model aviation has to offer yeah what we learned from you guys thanks to your testimonials and your survey was uh, extremely beneficial not only for us but we were also able to share that and forward that info to the FAA to give them a better understanding of who is out here enjoying the hobby and how it is being done all that being said thank you so much right now what's next we're in a different chapter right now what the FAA needs to do is they need to address uh, pretty much every single one of these comments and um, I forget whether they call it resolve it or what but this is gonna take a long time mm -hmm. uh, obviously with what's going on right now with COVID worldwide there's a lot of changes here and I'm not anticipating anything really happening very soon uh, with this but as time does go on we are going to be reaching out to you guys again letting you know certain things you can do one thing while we're in our quiet period of time that, that I'd really encourage you guys to do is, is just to go through those stories and read them um, you're gonna get inspired you're gonna get touched and then also you you have a really cool you know, way to search them out. If you're from Ohio, you can type in Ohio and it'll bring up everyone from Ohio. If you're from the military and you want to hear other military stories, the search feature on this to be able to pull those stories out is amazing. Robert, who works behind the scenes for us, did an incredible job. And it's a really cool way to get inspired through common interests and stuff and be able to pull that in. And in the future, you're going to be able to use that to be able to inform your representatives and senators uh, to uh, to kind of you know in inform them to hopefully shape the hobby. Um, but also get inspired at the same time. Yeah, and beyond reading the testimonials uh, through this challenging time with the pandemic, uh, there's a lot of things that you can do from your home. You yes. wanna get closer with your loved ones, spend quality time with each other, and obviously it's a great time to build, to share projects with each other, and to yeah. lift each other up instead of bringing, it, bringing people down. You know, right now in the media and everything, there's so much fear being spread around, and if anyone knows me, they know I'm a believer and I'm a follower of Christ. There's a, a truth in the word that says, you know, we have not been given a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Uh, now is the time to really flex that within your own family. Um, you can give your children fear, or you can take that time to love on them, to make a memory with them, to impact them in a positive way. You can, you know, uh, let them see that you're going to withdraw from people, or you can see that you're gonna put the effort to connect with them to repair a marriage. We love model aviation, we love airplanes, but we love people more. The thing that we're so passionate about is connecting with them. And you guys can use this hobby, you can use this time as you're closer with your family to do incredible things that will impact it. We can't fix or heal a pandemic but we can fix and heal relationships within our own walls. And um, this is probably rabbit trailing a little bit, but we just want to encourage you as flight test to take that time and energy to do something positive with it. And if it's connecting with a, a, a child or a loved one over sitting down at a table for a couple hours building a model, you will be amazed what comes out of, uh, of that experience. And so we're gonna be doing everything in our power to keep our content coming, because yes. we realize it's a, it's a really good way for people to get their minds off things. Um, we have been taking measures here, like sitting a little bit further apart from each other. We have some people working from home, but that being said, we're gonna keep the ball rolling as best to our ability. Um, and beyond that, with the FAA stuff, keep an eye out on this channel for upcoming updates. We're gonna be doing everything that we can to educate you guys on how you can make an impact. Um, we're, again, by no means experts, but what we can tell is that the next step in this FAA process is going to be a long one. It's going to take some serious time to put it into perspective. Uh, the recent ADSB ruling with general aviation, it started back in 2008 and it didn't go through and become a reality until this year. So it took 12 yeah. years, which is pretty crazy. Now, I don't know if this one's going to be that long, but that being said, stuff just takes a while to happen. If we've seen anything with this whole process from, you know, uh, you know, knowledge based tests, CPO recognition, everything, none of that's even happened yet. Yep. So please breathe easy about this. Put energy towards what matters. That's your families, your loved ones, and doing something positive within your family and within your home. And uh, we'll keep you posted. As we find out new things, you're going to find out new things. And again, we cannot thank you enough. Your response, your activity, your help is really what's helped us to, I think, shape the argument moving forward in a very positive way. And we're going to see fruit from that in the near future. 
Yep, and keep an eye on the main channel. Like I said, new content will be coming. Also, on the 25th this month at 3 p.m. Eastern time, Josh is gonna be doing a live build with a simple cub. And so that's something you can even get your own materials, get your foam cut out, and you can build along with them. Yeah, we got this amazing technology. We've never really done this before, but we wanna be able to uh, engage with you guys, have fun, and simple cub's a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. Two sheets of foam board, free downloadable plans is all you need. Uh, we'll put that in the link down below so you guys can get involved, and I'm sure you're gonna be doing a great job on social media promoting it. Um, and if that works, we're gonna do some more of it. And then along with that, we wanna come up with some simple, easy projects that people can do within their own homes uh, without having to go outside to, uh, to keep the kids busy and just to, to share a laugh and share some love. Yep, as always guys, thank you so much for uh, all your support and also for having a huge impact on this recent NPR, and we cannot thank you guys enough. We think it went really, really well. We're really confident and uh, optimistic of how it's gonna turn out. Yep. So thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next see one. See you guys.